Hello, Leo viewers. Going to look into your situation and see what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so. Let's see what's going on. I'm also doing a raffle right now, so if you donate a dollar, you get one raffle ticket. My Cash App info and my PayPal is below, and I will be choosing, I don't even get that many donations, so your odds are pretty good, actually, even if you only donate a dollar. Um, and I will be choosing a winner on the 22nd, and you, if you win, you get a free in-depth video reading from me. So when you donate a dollar, just include your email address in the description. All right, so what's going on with your situation? Leo's, what is going on with your love life? Got choosing their words wisely, planning the approach, sadness, willpower, strength, confidence. Fast moving energy, chaos, sudden turn of events, anger, miscommunication, adventure, honeymoon, vacation, pride and stubbornness, vulnerability, receptivity, true love, potential life partner. So remember I said that um, you're going to be part of a love triangle, you don't even see it coming. I still get that energy. Could be someone from your past coming back as well and also a new person. So it's like you might not be dating anybody right now or you might just be talking to one person and then before you know it, you're going to be juggling two people. So let's see what energy we got here. Can I get a couple of cards to clarify, uh, sum up what this reading is about? The last day in the light. I guess it's a. <laughs> I kept getting this card for Aries too, so I guess all fire signs are kind of in this energy right now. Natural, authentic, real, organic. So this is unexpected ending, surprise changes. So again, a love triangle would be a surprise change, sudden shifts, and natural. You're going to have something real, organic, just an authentic connection, just something that just kind of flows easily coming in. One more card to clarify thoughtful, polite, good manners. So somebody who's maybe like old fashioned, like a gentleman type opens, opens the car door for you. Um, you know, mature, responsible, reliable, like a more stable energy. I think more stable energy than your ex has. Definitely. Let's see. Is this telling me a story about one person? Okay. There are two different energies, two different people in this spread. It's a third, okay, love triangle, yep. It's two different stories here. So there's someone who's like, they're planning, it could be like probably an ex or someone from your past who's choosing their words wisely, like they're planning their approach. They're sad, they miss you. They're trying to, they've been insecure in the past. I almost feel like this is somebody who kind of like put you down because of their own insecurities. Like they were kind of toxic with you because they didn't love themselves. It's like they projected all their insecurities and all their fear and all their negativity onto you. It's like they didn't really take responsibility. It's like they just kind of blamed you for things. Um, but you have a history with this person. So even if it's kind of codependent, it's like there's still love there between you guys because it's like you guys have known each other for a while, I feel. Um, I don't know if you've talked in a while. It could be coming in just out of nowhere where it's like this person's thinking about you and they message you. But, um, you know, they're feeling sad they're trying to figure out what to say to you. They're trying to be strong and confident. And it's kind of like a fake it till you make it energy. They're trying to have the willpower. And they might be coming in fast. So we've got like sudden turn of events here. You know, fast moving energy, chaos. But we have anger and miscommunication here. So I feel like this is probably somebody who's really passionate. But, hmm. It's like it's somebody who's passionate, but sometimes they're angry. I don't know if you've seen their angry side or not yet, but like they might come in so quickly that they miscommunicate. It's almost somebody, like somebody who loves you, but they're like angry that they love you, if that makes sense. Like 
could be, I think you probably know who this person is. I don't know if you've talked in a while, though. It might be somebody that you thought it was long over with, and then it's like out of nowhere they message you or they're thinking about you right now. It's that kind of energy. Um, yeah. Is this person planning on messaging? It's like, it's maybe going towards yes. Like, they're thinking about you. It's really difficult with energy because sometimes psychics will be like, oh, your person's going to message you in a week. They just can't live without you. And, you know, honestly, they say that to get views. They say that so that you'll subscribe and watch and they tell you what you want to hear. But the truth is energy is unpredictable. So it's like, yes, there is the potential that this person will message you. But, you know, energy, this could change in a week. It's like this is I'm picking up on what this person is currently feeling, what they're currently wanting, what they're currently thinking about about um but again it's ultimately it's it's hard it, it doesn't say for sure if they're gonna message you know what I mean like no psychic can tell you for sure that they're gonna message they might be able to pick up the energy and think and, and be able to like channel and, and say you know this person is is typing messages out to you and deleting them or they're um they're likely to message but it, but again it's it's energy so it's it's still up in the air and this person seems unstable to me which is why I don't feel I don't want to say that I feel strongly about the messaging because I feel like they do have a lot of anger and I feel like this person could be um mentally unstable it could be somebody who's got like kind of like a bipolar I'm not saying they are bipolar but like a, a similar energy to bipolar where it's like they're kind of they're just very passionate but it's like they want what they want when they want it you know what I mean so they could meet a new person tomorrow and just, you know, fall in love with them. It's like, it's just like a very unstable person. It's a very codependent person, a very damaged person, um, very angry person. So it's like you have all this passion and codependency in this connection. Like you have all this raw emotion there. But then on the negative side of that, it's like they also get angry when they don't get their way. Or it's like they come in too quickly and smother or they, they just kind of, I don't know. Like I just, it's, it's a weird energy I get from this person. It's like, I do feel like miscommunication and anger. Cause I feel like they're like at war with themselves about how they feel about you. I think that's one of the issues too, is like they want to be all tough and they want to act like they're such a little baddie and they're not, you know? It's like you have somebody who's very vulnerable and passionate and romantic, but they've been hurt a lot. And so they kind of try to pretend like they're not. They try to hide all of that. And so they're really just at war with themselves, you know, especially regarding you. And I think that it's like they, then that, that is, it's hard for you because then you have to deal with that when it's like it's not your fault that they love you. It's not your fault that they feel that way. But it's like they, they, when they're vulnerable with someone, they're completely vulnerable. I think that they get angry and they get scared and they lash out, you know what I mean? And so it's like they're at war because they're such a vulnerable, romantic, emotional person. And it's like they don't have a lot of emotional control. And, um, you know, they're just trying to be something that they're not. They're trying to be all, all tough and they're just not a tough person and so their insecurity and their inability to accept who they really are leads to them being angry when they feel something when they feel a love like this so strongly it leads to them miscommunicating it leads to them um just taking all that inward struggle and projecting it onto you and onto the people that they love and and so they're kind of a toxic person to be honest I mean there might be good deep down but it's like they just have so much to work through and they need to take responsibility for themselves. And I feel like they just kind of project everything onto other people, you know? Um, but again, I feel that, <laughs> I feel that love triangle energy. So for some of you, I think that you're talking to one person and, okay, so it could go either way. It could be that you just met somebody new or you're about to meet somebody new. And then this toxic ex comes back around, like they feel that energy and they try to pull you back in. Or it could be the other way around where it's like this toxic ex, maybe you guys are talking or you're about to be talking 
And then you're going to end up meeting somebody new and you're going to be like, and I really want to go back with this toxic person. Not so sure. There actually might be something better for me. Because I sense two energies here. So it's for each person, each one of you that's drawn to this video, it's going to be different whether you're talking to the toxic person now and the new, the new person is coming in soon or whether you're talking to the new person that you've manifested and the toxic person is going to come back around and try to pull you back into that old pattern you guys have. Um... Or you might not be talking to either of them. Maybe you just feel this energy where you're like, you know what? I know love is around the corner for me, even though it's not here yet. And so maybe it's like all at once, both these, these men or both these women come in and you got to figure it out. <laughs> um, but I see, I see this being the new person is what I'm getting adventure, honeymoon, vacation, where it's like, like more of a gentle energy. Um, like new love, you know, excitement, and this person's still, this ex is still dealing with pride and stubbornness, and this other person is just going to be more open and vulnerable with you, and I feel like, let's see, is the ex a potential life partner? No. Is the ex a karmic? Yeah, the ex is a karmic lesson. It's a codependent karmic lesson. So the new person that's either just come in or about to come in, are they a life partner? Yeah. Well, uh, let's see. What do I want to ask here? Is this going to be sabotaged if you choose the toxic ex over the life partner? I'm getting a maybe, so it's like over time it would be sabotaged. Like this, this like new life partner that's coming in, like they're going to be crazy about you, so they're going to keep trying but eventually they will give up is kind of the energy I feel. Like they'll try to be patient with it. And if you're damaged or you're still heartbroken over somebody, you're still, you know, processing some stuff, they'll try to be patient. Um, so it's not going to be sabotaged right away, but it's like you will have to sooner or later make that choice. Um, there's traps, blocks tied up about the karmic. Yeah. Okay. So this card is about the karmic. I think this is a cord that you need to cut. Trapped, blocked, tied up. This could be a pattern that you have with men or women, like a pattern with like emotionally unavailable or toxic people, codependent connections that you need to cut. I feel like I feel one particular person here, though, that you have a history with, like a very hot, cold, on off relationship. Like, maybe you guys haven't talked for a while, but sooner or later they always come back around, or you guys hook up when you're lonely. It's like, I feel like this is probably someone you've known for a while, just considering. It's like very familiar kind of energy is what I get here. Um, and you guys might, even if you haven't talked physically for a while, you might still be picking up on each other's energy. And this could be kind of keeping you trapped and blocked and tied up a little bit. Just that like kind of codependent energy that you guys that you guys have had in this connection. Um, then I feel like this person was controlling. It's like they were afraid to love you, but they didn't want anybody else to love you either. It's like they kind of wanted to keep you blind to things, you know? And and so I think that if you know who this is and you know that this is toxic and you know that you don't want this back, I think that you need to cut these cords. I think you need to clear your energy up from this toxic, codependent, insecure person. Because I kind of feel like this is this is this has the potential to block you from your true love, your life partner. It either is blocking you or, or it has the potential in the future to block you if it comes back around and there's this familiarity here and it's like then you have this new relationship where, you know, it's not the same familiarity and maybe you're going through something and so it's like you want that familiarity, but you don't want to sabotage this because this person is, is much better quality than the ex is. Um, so I would cut those cords if I were you, but again, you know, if it's right for you or not, but personally for me, I would want to cut those cords and clear my energy of this person and let this karmic lesson go. Cause you don't want to marry a karmic, you know what I mean? Like karmics do get married. There are karmics that just latch onto each other out of that familiarity and codependency. Like I've seen that happen, you know, I've seen karmics that will like get themselves pregnant cause they don't want to lose their, the, um, their, the person they're with. But not that you guys would do that, but I mean, I've seen people 
I've seen, you know, situations like that where it's like a karmic connection and, and the woman gets pregnant to tie the, the man down. And it's like, not only is she, she not able to be with her soulmate or her twin flame now, but he's also not able to be with his soulmate or twin flame because he's got this kid with this person now, you know what I mean? And so it's like, you know, you can marry the karmic, but it's like, you don't want to, it's just going to be the same energy, the same patterns repeating with the karmic I think you'd rather have this, this soulmate or this twin flame that's either just come in or coming in for you. Um, cause this is true love. So somebody who's going to be vulnerable and they're not going to be terrified of what they feel for you. They're not going to be fighting themselves. You know, can I get some more details on this new person? Apology regret. Okay, we're talking about the ex, I guess, still. I guess the, I guess your guides have more to say about the ex. Yeah, the ex is going to come through with an apology regret for their manipulative, deceptive behavior. Might try to blame, you know, finances or career on their, their insecurities and instability and say that you're beautiful and mysterious and enchanting and they're so sorry and blah, blah, blah. And they're ready to take a leap of faith now. But I don't know if you want this crap. Yeah, they're probably going to come through with a love offer. But again, it's still toxic. There's still the red flags. There's still the hidden motives there. I don't think you're going to want it. Almost like, okay, like usually I don't see it that way, but I almost see it's like he's hiding something, you know? I know it's a rose, but it's like I kind of just channeled that when I looked at it. I'm like, what's he hiding from her, you know? Like it's not, it's not, that rose is not as beautiful as he's trying to make it out to be, you know? <laughs> It's still toxic. There's still red flags. There's still hidden motives. There's still codependency and insecurity and toxicity in this connection. It's still, a, it's just a karmic connection. They probably wanted to fool you into thinking that you were their, their twin flame or their soulmate, but I don't think you actually are. I think this person that's come in or coming in is your actual true love. Um, okay, can we just stop talking about this stupid person and tell me about the new person coming in, the true love. Tell me about that. Choose a path. Okay, so I guess that's why they're talking about it because they're like, well, you have to make up your mind. Do you want to cut these cords and cut these, these patterns and cut this toxic person out? Because this person, I feel, is still trying to control you. They're still thinking about you. They're still trying to, to manifest you back. Um, could be doing magic even. But this, these, this cord that's connecting you to this person that you have this hot and cold on off and again relationship with, even if you haven't talked in a while, this is, this, this, these astral red cords are still affecting you and they need to be cut. So you got to choose that path. So that's why it keeps reiterating about your ex. Cause it's like, you have to choose if you're going to cut, you know, this energy is going to come in, in my readings more, this new love. If you cut these cords out, cause then we're not going to be telling the story anymore. Cause you're going to be moving past that. You know what I mean? But you're, even if you consciously have moved, have been moving past that, you're, the red threads are still connecting you guys on like a telepathic astral level. So there's got to be cut. And the new person, you know, it's happiness, warmth, light, somebody who appreciates and values your empathy, somebody who sees you as an angel and doesn't take that for granted. End of a pattern, cycle, breakthrough, freedom, you know, new start with this person. This one just way better. It's like a gentleman or like a girl next door type. This is like a very sweet, loving person. This is like a goofy person, like in a good way, like kind of silly, adventurous, um, just sweet, like just like a very loving person. Their energy is much more gentle than this other person's energy. Passion, romance, you know, really good energy here with this person. Open and honest communication message, you know, them being forward about their feelings, not hiding things from you. Not being hesitant, not having mixed feelings, but just being honest, you know, making that move, you know, green lights instead of red flags with this, this new person for sure. Um, yeah, so it's good energy, good energy for sure. Um, you know, and you're going to get that energetic difference between this toxic ex and this new person. This person is just going to be honest about how they feel. They're going to, they're going to love who they are. They're going to be a vulnerable person and a, like an emotional romantic person, but I think they're going to embrace that side of themselves. They're not going to try to fight it like your ex did. So, so yeah, much better energy here. But again, you're at that, you're either at that crossroads or about to be at that crossroads where you're going to have to choose between this toxic ex, this toxic karmic ex, or choose between this this new person, this potential life partner, true love. Um, 
so you know the energy we get in the next spread is really going to depend on on what path you go down and if you cut these cords or not so thank you guys for watching and again if you donate a dollar you get a raffle ticket and i'll be you know calling out a winner on the 22nd so just put your email in the um the description when you uh donate so thanks for watching and subscribe if it resonates bye